So welcome everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, as if you saw my email, you would have seen that we're focusing on transformation. So transformation, if you're looking at the astrological signs, please explain it to me. I want to learn, but I like to the theory behind it. So let's work on transformations of our body, of our state of mind, of our just um, spiritual selves, whatever you need a transformation of. We're going to be working a lot on building the fire tonight, building the fire in our bellies and in our breath. So that'll be one of our focuses. Um, please make sure that you remember to always listen to your body and what your body needs. So everyone needs something different and on different days and different times. So let's get started. We are, we are just in a nice, easy seat. And because we are trying to transform, we are trying to maybe distract us from all the negative energy that we might have in our lives for whatever is happening. Let's try to distract from that. So let's start in our easy seat here. And we're going to start with something called tapping, which is literally just taking our fingertips, find your collarbone and just below the collarbone, just start tapping. Maybe it's your whole hand. And just breathing, arriving on the mat. Our tapping helps us to become more focused, more present. Taking away those stressors, those negative energies that are pulling the best of us away from us. I encourage you, if you would like to explore tapping, some people like to tap forehead, even like sternum, or just stay here on the collarbone. Just a good way to become present, become here. Remember that the here and now is what is so important. Okay. Let's relax our hands. And if you're in a nice, comfortable seat, switch your feet. And we'll do a little box breathing just to continue our arrival here. If you remember from last week, box breathing, inhaling for one count, holding at the top, and then exhaling for the same count. Last week, I encouraged or invited you to use five as your count. Maybe you want to explore what it would feel like to go up to six, seven. So let's try a couple rounds together. Inhaling, bringing our spine up, our head up toward the ceiling, but our sit bones resting into the mat, counting up to six, five, six, holding for just a moment, and then exhaling, one, two, three, four, five. Holding and doing the same again. Counting on your own time. Maybe closing your eyes. Holding and exhaling for that same count. Do two more. Inhaling. And exhaling. And one last box breath, inhaling. And exhaling. Cool. Well, our legs are already crossed, so we're going to move into a half Lord of the Fishes. So just keeping my, my right knee happens to be the one that's on the bottom, but whatever knee is on the bottom, or if you want to switch it up, you can. And just bring the opposing knee across. And if you want to start in almost a fire log pose, pulsing into your sit bones, letting your spine elongate. 
then bring that knee across so that the knee is closest to your chest. Now your next inhale, <laughs> capture, sorry, the opposite elbow with that on that knee and do a gentle twist to the side. As you inhale, spine becomes long. And exhale, pull the belly button into the spine to twist. You can stay here or bring that elbow onto the outside of your knee. Half floor to the fishes, twisting a little bit further, paying attention to your body and what your body needs, not going further than comfortable. And release. And let's switch our legs and do the same thing. So we can start with a little almost fire leg pose. And bring that knee up to chest, give it a little hug. An opposite elbow captures that knee and we twist gently, inhaling spine, exhaling belly button. And if you'd like, join me in the half Lord of the fishes. Your elbow comes to the outside of that knee, pressing into that knee and twisting just a little bit further. Activating your core, activating your digestion. And release. Okay, let's roll through while we're on the mat. If you have shoulder injuries, you can stay right here into a seated cat cow or join me in the table cat cow on your own. You've done this a few times. Maybe as we move through, you do a little faster breathing than you normally do, helping to stoke that fire. Transformation begins with the fire, right? So just like the phoenix, the pahonix, we're transforming. All right, now from here, let's curl those back toes, pressing in through our fingers and sending the hips slowly up into a nice down dog. Wherever you're at right now, maybe your knees need to be bent. That's fine, walk out your dog. And maybe while you're walking out your dog, shake your head. Shake your neck. Shake your shoulders. Release any of that tension to allow room for you to transform whatever you need to transform today. All right, and let's tippy toe, slowly walking up, to stop between the hands in a nice forward fold. Knees are gently bent, leaving room at the belly, so we're hinging at the hips and folding forward. Take a minute here if you want to grab your elbows and do a gentle rock back and forth. Oh, you're welcome to do that. All right, now pressing through our feet, we're gonna slowly roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, come to standing. From here, we're gonna do a little twisting and shaking to shake it out. We'll just start with some Feet a little uh, more than hip distance apart, and then just bending our hands side to side. See, feeling the hands are a little bit heavy, giving you a little massage in the lower back. Gentle twist. Your spine is feeling extra tall right now. If that makes any sense. So we're really pulling up toward the ceiling. We're not collapsing down. That'll give us the most of our twist. And maybe even add in a little movement with the legs for our twist. Send those leg, those arms a little bit higher. I'm pushing up through my toes as I send my arms up to like shoulders now. 
But again, do what feels good. And then just for the sake of silliness, let's shake it out. See if you can shake out. And I know that seems ridiculous, but it helps us release any of those tensions, release any of those things that are preventing us from growth. Probably no one's at your house and I'm not judging. So you do, <laughs> you do you. All right, and come back to center. Now we're gonna do a few rounds of um, sun salutations with some variations in those sun salutations to get a little fire burning. So coming to close to the front of your mat or totally up to the front of your mat, keep pressing into the mat and beyond, inhaling arms up overhead, reaching up, stretching the fingertips away from the feet, pressing into the mat, feel that opposition. Inhale and exhale, diving down, hinging at the hips, make room for breath, forward fold. Remember, you can always use a block, shoulder, a shoulder, your fins, whatever you've got. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Let's plant our hands and we're going to step back. And this time we're just going to do a supported plank. Now, anyone who needs that supported plank, uh, because of shoulder injuries or otherwise, uh, you can always come back to the supported. If you need to, you can always just flip over to the back and do a little um, exercise there. But let's just hold our supported plank here for a minute. Really paying attention to pressing through the fingers, pulling the belly button in, and keeping our feet active. All right, now those of you who are with me here, let's try bringing up opposite hand to opposite shoulder. I'm going to move just to make this a little more visible. So inhale, right hand goes to left shoulder and back. And do the opposite. Try this a couple of times. If this is hurting wrists or shoulders, don't do that. Of course, obviously, you can go back into a child pose or into a an extended puppy pose. So let's just keep working this right now, just our arms and our bellies. And coming back, slowly lower all the way down. This time, we'll do a little sphinx pose, palms and forearms, pressing into that. Inhale, chest open. Exhale, slowly lower down. And then let's press through to another down dog. And again, if you need to, we take the pressure off your shoulders. You can always come into a supported down dog here. And from here, press your weight into your left foot. Inhale the right leg up as high as you're comfortable. Pause and then bring it down and switch. Press into your right foot. Inhale the left foot up as high as you're comfortable. Bring it down and switch. Let's do it two more times. Inhale. You can go a little further and exhale. Exhale, press the right foot, inhale, left leg back, and exhale, one more, pressing in the left foot, inhale, right up, really stretching it back, and exhale, one more, inhale, stretching it back, and exhale, excellent. From here, look between the hands, and step or hop between your hands, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Press through your feet and inhale to that extended mountain. And exhale, hands to heart. We're going to do a couple more really quickly. Okay. So from here, pressing through your feet. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands and step or hop back into plank. Holding plank here for just a moment. Really sending the energy back down your back. See if you can rock back and forth, moving those toes forward and send the heels back. Send the heels forward and back. Do this a few more times, really pulling that belly button in, really feeling the burn start to arrive. And then slowly lower all the way down. Flip the feet and inhale, opening the chest. Exhale, forward, fold, or fold, sorry. Pressing all the way back into a down dog. 
this time, press into the left foot. Inhale, right leg up, and exhale, opening up and stacking the hips. Holding this here. Breathing. And release. Bring those feet together. Okay. Press into the right foot. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, bending that knee, stacking the hips. Holding here. And release. Look between the hands and step or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to come all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. Okay. We have two more rounds. We're going to do them really fast. All right. Inhale. Reaching up. Exhale. Diving forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands. Step or hop back to plank. This time, in our plank, see if you can bring opposite hand to opposite shoulder. Really pulling that belly button in, keeping the integrity of your plank. And we'll go into a chaturanga to up dog. If that is in your practice. If not, do what is good for you. Okay, so lowering down, flipping the feet, opening up, and back into a down dog. This time, pressing into the left foot. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, opening up and stack. Inhale, unstack. And exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kicking back. Exhale, opening up the hips. Exhale, inhale, knee to nose. All right, kicking back. Open and stack. Release. Need to know. One more time. Kicking back. Opening. And bringing. Need to know. Bring that right leg all the way through. Plant between your hands. And we're going to do a warrior one. So I'm going to shift my back foot. Coming all the way up. Into a warrior one here. Now see if we're going to forward fold. And this time bring your right hand to your right knee. Inhale, the left hand up. Exhale, forward fold and switch hands. Left hand on the right knee. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, forward fold, plant your hands. Bring the back foot to meet the front. And then inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And then inhale, all the way up, hands to heart. One more time. We got this. Take a deep breath. All right. Pressing through your feet, through the yoga mat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the hands. Step or hop the plank. This time, we're rocking side to side. You can do a support here or stay in. On a uh, in a V shape on your, your back, doing a little boat pose, which we're going to get to, but you can always do that right now too if shoulders are not allowing. Okay, do two more. And then chaturanga to up dog. Opening that chest, bending back. Of course, I haven't forgotten the other side. So weight goes on the right foot when we're in our down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, stacking the hips. All right, now remember, we're coming through. Unstack, bring nose to knee. Kicking all the way back. Stack the hips, bend the knee. Unstack, nose to knee. Kicking all the way back. Stack and bend. Bring nose and stack, nose to knee. One last time, kicking back. Stack, unstack, nose to knee. Bring that left foot up between your feet, between your hands. Shift that back foot and inhale, coming up to warrior one. 
I'm so good at anatomy, guys. I appreciate you being so patient. Okay, diving down. This time, left hand to left knee. Inhale, coming up, right hand up. And come back down, switch hands. Right hand to left knee. Inhale, bringing left hand up. Exhale, plant both hands. Bring both feet up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to come all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. Ooh, I'm a little breathless. I don't know how you're feeling, but I'm definitely feeling a little breathless. Oh, I knocked over, I knocked over my block. Okay, all right. We have a few more minutes. Let's get a little bit more burn going. So why not throw a chair in? We won't have time for a Savasana tonight. Please make sure that you join a, do a Savasana after we close. Let's keep going. Let's keep that burn going, right? Feet together, legs together. Stretching those arms down and inhale, bringing the arms up, sending the hips back into a nice pull. Inhale and exhale. Of course, let's add a little twist in. Send those right fingertips back, left fingertips forward. Really working on extending the spine and sending the hips back. Stay here or add that prayer twist in, but really twisting from your core, not from your hands. Okay, so from here, we do this often. Let's put all the weight on our right foot and step our left foot back. Okay. So now we're in our revolved high lunge here. Sweet. Add a little challenge in. Can you send your left hand down to the outside of the right foot and send the right finger up? If that's not doing it for you today, or you can grab a block and use that block here, you can. Just a little challenge if you're feeling like adding something in. Take one more deep breath in and exhale. Release your twist slowly and step your feet together. Shake it out like what we did before and we'll do the other side. All right, ready for this? Feet together, legs together, chest open, fingers reaching down, and inhale, arms up into chair. Really thinking about opening up that chest. Ooh, it looks like I'm flying over the iron now. Oh. Opening up that chest, bending the hips back a little bit more. Tuck in with your knees, make sure they're not over your toes. And then this time, sending, oh, doing a dance. Right fingertips forward, left fingertips back. Breathing. Stay here or get a little extra twist in. Right elbow to the outside of left knee. Keep those hips down. Twisting at your core, not from your palms. All right. Are you ready for it? Weight goes onto the left foot. Right foot moves back into a nice high lunge. Breathing deeply and stay here or see if we can add a little extra extension. Again, if you have a block, put a block right here. My block's over there, too far for me to get, sorry. Fingertips up toward the sky. Wherever you are at is where you need to be. So don't stress it. Take one more deep breath here, inhale and exhale, release. And this time we're just gonna come down to sit. But if you wanna sit, take your legs out a little bit. Woo, all right. So speaking of our legs, while we're here, have our legs stretched out. Before we do our boat pose, let's just do a little nice cane. 
Legs are stretched out. If you want something supporting under your knees, you can. Inhale, arms up overhead. And exhale, hinging at the hips, reaching towards your toes. Wherever you're at is where you need to be, right? So it could be your shins. Maybe you have blocks on both sides. Maybe you have your toes. If it's easy enough for you to grab your toes, I invite you to pull those elbows down toward your shins. Really feeling, though, the integrity of your back. It's not a competition. It's okay. It's not perfect. All right. And release. Okay. This can't be a fire burning festival. No. Yoga session if we don't have a little bit of boat. So let's bring our feet on the mat. Knees bent. And whatever part of boat you are ready for. Hands behind the thighs if you need it, dropping the chest, opening up the chest, dropping the shoulders, I should say. If you're, this is where you need to be, that's fine. Or release your hands or bring your feet up into a V. Holding here, breathing, keep going. Don't let up yet. Trying to Soak that fire, right? And one more second and release. Excellent work. Oh my goodness. So let's take a nice deep breath here and let's roll down for some floor work here. Okay. So from here, we'll do, um, we're going to do a couple restorative poses just to, plan to end out our day. But you can do restorative for as long as, as much as you want. If you want to do the restorative, great. If you want to do the other poses, that's fine too. So we'll start with the legs up the wall. And you can actually put your hips against the wall and have the legs touching the wall. And this would be your restorative pose. Now for anyone who wants to do more than just a restorative pose here, here's what we can do. So we're going to use our palms and our forearms to help to push the bottoms of our feet toward the sky. So again, you can just have your feet resting against the wall, hips against the wall for a nice restorative, or you can do the opposite of restorative and do a few of these, really pushing your feet toward the ceiling, using your core, using your palm and your arms, stoking that fire, Burn away that which no longer serves us. And whether that's physical laziness, mental laziness, or if it's just a way to reconnect with your body and with where you are. Let's do three more. I believe in you. You can do this. All right. And release. Excellent work. We're going to move into another restorative option. And that restorative option would use a block. It's up to you if you'd like to do the restorative, but we're going to do a little bridge pose. Okay, so with our bridge pose, my feet are going to be on the floor, knees bent, hips near the feet. And I'll show you the restorative pose first. And then if you would like to do another pose with me, you're welcome to. Okay, so I'm going to press my left hand and forearm and both of my feet pressing into the mat to inhale my hips up toward the ceiling. If you would like the restorative pose option, place a block under your hips and gently release into the block. Keep your feet and your arms active, but allow your back to relax here. For anyone who would like to do a traditional bridge, let's go ahead and do that again. Pressing into our feet and our palms, inhaling those hips up toward the ceiling, and maybe bringing a bind in with our hands underneath our hips, pushing and pulling toward the, the heels, maybe even moving the heels a little closer. Holding this here, keeping the integrity of your belly, and of your lower back. Breathing. Mm -hmm. 
whatever posture you are using, take a time, take some time to really breathe into this, feeling what your body needs, feeling what your soul needs or your mind needs. All right, holding here one more moment and release, slowly coming down vertebrae by vertebrae. From here, take a second to do some windshield wipers, just letting the knees fall side to side gently. And really feeling and checking in with our bodies. We're gonna do one more posture today. But that posture is actually going to be on our bellies. We're gonna do a little child's pose. Okay, and coming back to center, I'm gonna roll over to my side, gently come up to seated and move my way through on the mat to a child's pose. All right, in that child's pose, I'm gonna bring my knees as wide as the mat, toes together. And if you would like to do a supported, a little more um, restorative posture, I'd put a block underneath my hips and a block underneath my forehead. And if you're not feeling the restorative posture today, that's totally fine. I'm just going to end with my restorative with my block under my hips and a block under my forehead. But otherwise, find your way into child pose. Taking a moment to breathe and allow the body to cool here. And as we become grounded, and centered and start to slow our breathing, I invite you to consider an intention for yourself for this week for transformation. It could be anything. Maybe you drink too much coffee and by you, I mean me. And if that is a physical ailment, I suppose, Maybe this week I'm going to work on drinking more water than coffee. Or maybe it's a mental transformation that you need. You get stuck in the negative. Maybe this week your focus is to maybe just be a little more positive or at least identify when you are negative. But this transformation we're talking about can sometimes be a lot deeper. Might be some ugly truth you haven't wanted to face for a while. And I don't just mean the toilets that I haven't cleaned. You know, oh. There might be some other ugly truth. And if you're ready for it, this would be a great week to do it. But only if you were ready. Find whatever your focus might be for this week for your transformation. And take one deep breath to seal your intention. When we come out of our child's pose to find our way into a closing. I invite you to Spend the rest of this evening or another 10 minutes in a shavasana, in the quiet. But for now, we'll close here in our easy seat. Opening up our chest, opening up our heart. We'll take one inhale together, bringing our arms up overhead. Inhaling arms up overhead, palms pressed and bring those palms down to our heart. And from here, I want to thank you for letting me be a part of your yoga journey. And I can't wait to see you again next week. Namaste.